Good morning, everyone. This is a WBTV News Now update. I'm Abby Tedros, and we are looking ahead to a couple of hours from now, starting at 5 o'clock in North Carolina. More COVID-19 related restrictions will be lifted. So one of the main ones, no more curfew. We also understand that more people will be allowed inside businesses and a big one for a lot of parents. You will be allowed to have more people in the stands for sporting events, at least outdoor sporting events. And this is good timing for a lot of people as Friday night football is about to start for many. Our Sharon Hayes following this aspect of the story for us. So I do want to check in with her. Sharon, I understand that you did talk to a coach who is really excited about this. So it is an exciting time for a lot of uh, football fans and a lot of teams out there. Talk to me about what what this football coach said to you. Well, good morning, Abby. Yes, I t spoke with the coach of the Sun Valley Spartans, and they're getting ready to play for the first time tonight and on their uh, new field. They just got a new field put in, and so they're very excited about that, especially because more people are allowed in the stands to actually see the field at this point because of Governor Cooper's recent update. Now, that is, of course, of course after um, there was previously that 100 cap, uh, 100 person cap that is, but instead now an outdoor sporting event can have a 30% capacity tops. But I did speak with Coach Drew Hackett yesterday who told me that the team has been going with the flow, of course, making sure to implement those safety practices, but they are excited that there are going to be more people cheering for them from the stands. Let's hear from him. And we have uh, gone through the numerous phases that the state has brought down, and we have been... Uh, working pretty hard, having that in the back of our minds is a huge way of just knowing, you know, keep our space. You were able to listen to him for a moment, so I do want to check back in with you. Could you talk to me about some of the restrictions that will be in place for those who do plan to attend those football games? Well, you know, of course, Abby, things like social distancing and the stands, people making sure people that are, are six feet apart from people that are not in their households. And of course, mask wearing is a requirement at all times as well. Now, that's something that the team is familiar with. They've been wearing masks under their helmets, even while they've been practicing. But of course, that's going to extend to the stands because even though we didn't get to hear from Coach Hackett right there, he, all, he did say that um, they want to make sure they're not the reason that people don't get to come out and enjoy you know watching his team play now they're going to be taking on the Weddington High School Warriors tonight so that's going to be a very fun game again social distancing but with that 30 percent capacity um, cap everybody's not going to be able to get inside so we definitely want to let people know that there is on the UCPS website a watch party that's going to be held at next level church very close to the school It's for students safety protocols will be in place for that but students will be able to get in free and then there would be free food and just a lot of fun to be had. Abby. Sharon, thank you. I know you'll be following that story for us closely, and I know a lot of families are excited about this big development. So just to kind of walk you through what kind of restrictions will be eased starting at 5 o'clock today, our vaccine team has put together uh, guidelines for you, a really cool graphic to make it easy for you to see. Let me pull one of them up for you. It's going to show you what kind of restrictions will be eased. So right now we know starting at five o'clock restaurants, breweries, gyms, stores and other locations that you see right there on your screen will be allowed to have more people inside. All the businesses that you see here will be able to operate at 50% capacity. Then let me pull up another graphic that our vaccine team created showing you what other kind of restrictions are going to be eased? Other places like the ones that you're looking at right now will be allowed to welcome more inside their business. Places like bars, taverns, and movie theaters will be operating at 30% capacity. Now, one of the reasons that we are seeing this major development in the state of North Carolina, North Carolina I know a lot of people we're looking forward to this anxiously awaiting specifically business owners. We know it's because a lot of the coronavirus cases trending downward. So some positive news in the fight against COVID-19. Take a look at 
one of the trends that uh, Governor Roy Cooper mentioned, saying that he's easing restrictions because of these encouraging trends. Uh, you can see that COVID-19 cases and the number of people hospitalized are falling across the state of North Carolina. And the percent of people testing positive also now at or I should say below 5%, so that is a positive development there. And over the last few days, we have heard from people who say that they are looking forward to this, whether it's parents looking forward to being in the stands for their child's football game, business owners who have been struggling this past year during the pandemic, looking forward to having more people, more foot traffic around and hopefully boosting their business and their bottom line. and. A lot of this is something that uh, we are going to be following for you throughout the day, both digitally and online. And you can also watch it during our next broadcast at 12 o'clock. If you'd like to just check in and get more information as far as what is available and what you can look ahead to starting at 5 o'clock tonight, we do have a working web story up right now breaking down all of this information for you. Head over to WBTV.com. The latest information available right here under the vaccine team tab where we are breaking down all of the information related to vaccine distribution and COVID-19 related restrictions being eased, particularly in North Carolina starting at five o'clock today. You can see we already have a story up from our morning broadcast related to high school football returning tonight and more people being allowed in the stands. And then we also have more information as far as what you can look forward to starting at five o'clock tonight. So we do encourage you to head over to our website at WBTV.com and then coming up at 12 o'clock during our next broadcast, we'll have the latest information for you on the airwaves as well.